Okay, hello and welcome to Retro Bikes Dublin. Today we are looking at another Suzuki Birdie. It's 2013 model with only 200 odd kilometers on the clock. Virtually brand new. Um, so you're basically buying a brand new bike. Uh, uh, brand new old stock I would nearly call it uh, a few little things if you don't know about the birdie is they're used for the postal service in Japan specifically for bank posts uh, postal services so for documentation for banks back and forth and I'll show you a few little things as to how this bike is specifically uh, built for that purpose so front tire on this bike is good. It's more of the on-road uh, tire that they do. So there's um, some of them come with a kind of a half and half. Some will come with the fully kind of road. Front headlamp and indicators original. Uh, the good thing about these is that the front and rear of them is all plastic. And so they never rust. So you don't get any of that rusting that a lot of the Honda 50s got through. Um, you have proper front uh, shocks on it as well. Reinforced for uh, load bearing. This actually came with the smaller um, front uh, rack. The other ones have a larger rack, which you can see here. Um, uh, some of them came with a larger rack from the uh, stock, and this one came with a smaller one. Uh, they also have this light up the front here, so this light shines down onto your documents so you can see exactly what you're doing. I don't know if, it, if they have a postal run document or something like that in the front that they look at. The leg shields are in perfect condition, engine uh, is in black, so it's um, a fuel injected model. The chain guard uh, is present on this, everything is actually in really, really nice condition. Side stand and main stand, seat mint condition as you would presume. Underneath, really, really good. Uh, rear rack is the large rack that was fitted. Um, Overall, there's really just not much to point out because it's just got such low mileage, so um, there's no real signs of any major wear or anything. Rear tire again, more of an on-road tire, uh, and same with the exhaust, it's all pretty mint. A little bit of uh, what looks like maybe it was sitting and maybe water was sitting on top of the engine, and that kinda, that's kind of what happens. But other than that, only 200 kilometers from new. It's a kickstart only model. And up the top here you have heated grips. They're factory fitted from Suzuki. So um, they uh, are really, really good, nice and powerful, good for the winter. So that's kind of it for this little look around. Let's go for a ride. Okay, so let me just check for recording again as usual. And we are, we're onto our first Suzuki Birdie fuel injected, I believe it's 2013 model with only 200 kilometers on the clock. Turn it on, turn on the ignition on the left hand side, reach over the bike and give it a good kick. Right, let's go around the block. That's pretty good that it started that quickly for me and that easily to be honest. I think the fuel injected models are probably actually pretty, um, pretty easy to kick. Uh, I've noticed that they just don't really take uh, too many times to get going. It all seems fairly uh, familiar. Uh, very, very similar sitting position um, to a Honda 50. Feels pretty much like a Honda 50 so far. The fueling is probably a bit smoother. So, um, yeah, the, the fueling is probably a bit smoother and so uh, feels a bit smoother as we go because of the fuel injection. Um, the front basket here is actually easily seen. I can see actually directly the the um, re so you could see the, the the documents or whatever you have in the front there. Mirrors are nice, not a lot of vibration through them or anything like that. Yeah, so it's the same as a, a Honda 50. If you've ever ridden a Honda 50, you have your your um, indicators here on the right hand side. Speed wise. You're looking at about 60 kilometers an hour max. We do get uphill pretty easy though. We're doing a 45 already. We'll kick back into second and give her a good welly up. But uh, yeah, that's what you're kind of looking at. About, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. I nearly killed a cat. 
<laughs> good thing, good, good eyes on me there. Good eyes on me there. That'd have been a disaster for some family out there. Cat running across the road. I caught it there. I said, "What is that? Is that going to actually run out in front of me?" But then again, do you know what you think? You think, "Oh, is it like a cat's going to look out?" And, oh, I know it's a road. They don't know what the fuck the difference between a road and a field and a whatever. But uh, yeah, doing nicely here, 45, 50 kilometers an hour. You definitely would do 60. I've done 60 on the other ones, so it's probably the same. Your uh, heated grips work the same. Um, I can turn them on there and see how long they take to turn on. But uh, oh, I can actually feel them coming on already, which is quite nice. It's not the it's not the coldest day, but it's not the warmest day ever here. We are coming into. Um, we are coming into s September now, mid-September, so uh, you know the temperatures are starting to drop, and it's uh, slowly, unfortunately, becoming winter, which is a dreaded word I don't want to say. But all looking nice. Corn is working. We'll uh, pull in here on the left-hand side. It all feels fairly minty, minty. Uh, the gears, everything feels really, you know, sharp. As you would expect from a bike that only has um, that only has uh, not even 300 kilometers on the clock. I want the main stand and not the side stand. So we'll do. Uh, I'll just turn them off there. Anyway, um, front left indicator working. Front headlamp working. Uh, we'll do the rears now on the right. Rear right indicator working, front right indicator working, and brake light working as well. So, everything checked over. Looking really nice, riding nice, going through all the gears really well. Feels really, really uh, solid, as you'd expect. I mean, it's pretty much a brand new bike. Brand new old stock, as we'll say. But uh, if you have liked the video, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you do want to reach out to us on our socials, they are at Retro Bikes Dublin for Facebook and Instagram. And... Finally, our official website is www.retrobicedublin.com. Thanks for watching.